everybody, and welcome to another edition of Poland Daily Travel, your favorite show about Central Europe and Poland, uh, with all the travel destinations, travel information you possibly want, as well as close-up and personal visits. Uh, in the studio uh, here in beautiful downtown Warsaw, I have Philip Goss. Hello. Hello, Phil. And on the horn from beautiful downtown Bidgoszcz is... Uh, Tony McFarlane Gonzalez. Hi, Tony. Yes. How are you? Good, man. Good, good, good. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we, I, I knew you were going to say that. I don't know why. Uh, I, because I, I gave you cue cards uh, with what to say when I asked you. All of these questions have been, have been rehearsed, carefully rehearsed, and I hope you've memorized your lines. You usually do very well. Um, now, uh, best... <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Best places to visit. I mean, no, you do well, but I didn't really give you. People are going to think that I'm giving you cards because uh, they believe anything these days. But uh, best destinations in Central Europe for winter. Central Europe. I mean, in Europe, there are a lot of places. The whole of Europe, there would be an immense amount of places. But let's focus on, on this region and not just Poland. Uh, where do you think? Uh, uh, Philip Goss. The, uh, for winter sports or for? Just for winter destination for whatever you want to do. Just places to go in winter that you wouldn't necessarily go in the summer. Well, certainly uh, northern Italy, which is fine in the summer as well if you like. Uh, is that not, Central Europe? Well, not Central Europe, I suppose, no. Well, I don't know. Did you know that the, the edge of, uh, everyone thinks Czech Republic is Central Europe. They think it's right in the middle, right? The edge of, of Ch the western edge of the Czech Republic is right above Rome. So that includes part of Italy, doesn't it? Indeed it would. Yeah. And so Italy bordering Slovenia, which is considered central Europe. Northern Italy certainly yeah. could be considered I think so. central Europe. Yeah, I think certainly the, the right hand side. Uh, is and of course, America. Austria the was East at East. one time considered central Europe. I think so, yeah, isn't it? Um, yeah. But I, where would we go in the winter that we wouldn't go in the summer? That's an interesting question. Um, some people like mountain tourism in the summer. I don't prefer it. No. Um, I no longer ski, but of course, uh, so it depends on what you like. But um, uh, I suppose the ski jumping areas, we wouldn't do that in the summer now, would we? No, skiing, ski jumping, all of those sort of things we would do only uh, in the winter. So we might go some places. Some places really thrive in the winter, like Zakopane is still popular. It's a popular destination year-round, yes. Year-round. And so the Slovakian mountains. I mean, you know, you get a different thing in the summer than you do in the winter. But for winter sports, oh, Chavnitsa is a place that you really want to go in the winter. It's uh, east of Zakopane. And a uh, very fine little ski destination. My friends have uh, a couple of hotels there. And... Uh, there they, are some lakes in the north. They made it very nice. Where, because I'm a scuba diver, I've done scuba tourism around Poland, and uh, in the winter time there are lakes that are particularly prone to freezing. So if you'd like to do ice diving, which is a thing, then there are certain places you would necessarily go in the winter that might not be your dive destination of choice in the summertime. Oh, that's that's true. It's a very good point. This ice diving is is a special thing that Poland is kind of famous for. Isn't it? I don't know about famous for, but yeah. it's certainly possible here. Um, they don't have a sort of a, a sort of a cult following on doing that in those lakes up there. Well, there are certain lakes. Um, the deepest uh, aquifer in Poland is um, um, Heincha. It is up near uh, Suwałki, and I've scuba dived in that. Now that lake is a one time. that is an old lake. Uh, it's the deepest lake in Poland. It is the 105 meters, I believe. Yeah. 104. Just north of Suwałki. We were filming yes. there for the program. It's an incredibly yeah. dangerous lake to dive. Why is that? Because if anything goes wrong, there's nothing to stop you from going all the way down. Wow. The side is about a 45 degree angle. Uh -huh. And of course, the first time I ever dove there, everything that could go wrong did go wrong. And I had to grab onto a stone that was lodged into the side of the lake bed and hang on quite literally for dear life. Wow. It's no joke. Were you scared? Yes. That would scare the heck out of me. Well. Being underwater with all that? It was not time to be scared so much as to save one's life and get out of Dodge and find the solution to the problems multiple that occurred simultaneously. Well, did you do that? Yes. Oh, that's why you're here. Yes. I yeah. 
It's not a facsimile. No. This is the actual you, the original. Yeah. You. This was uh, maybe seven or eight years ago I went there. Yeah. Wow. Tony, what do you, what do you think? Where would you go? That you would only tend, <clears throat> tend to go in the winter, but not... Oh, definitely the Trio region in Austria. Those mountains are stunning in the winter. Uh, and then I would go visit my friends in the northern parts of Italy near the Dolomites. They get a, it's absolutely epic snow amounts. What about more more this side, more of Central Europe? Any places you like to go? I mean, the Christmas markets so, and some of those so, attractions are good, like Prague, for example, is magical in the winter. I, mean, I prefer I in the would winter. Less in people. Slovakia. You, Slovakia? Slovakia, yeah, definitely. Slovakia is like one of the hidden gems for winter attractions that Tell a lot us of people about don't it. know. Tell us about it. <laughs> Even in the summer, Slovakia is a really, really attractive country. It's very raw, uh, and it's very... It's kind of like more dense Poland, uh, if you like the outdoors. Uh, they really thrive on that. They are, tourism is, most of their economy is based on tourism. So definitely uh, the mountains, and it's very, very mountainous. They get tons of snow because of their climate and the location where they're at, uh, especially near the foothills, which are the our Tetra Mountains, because the Tetra Mountains do connect down into Slovakia and Czechoslovakia, so that mountain range is still there. Um, but it's one of the... They have some of the taller peaks in Europe, and the skiing is choice. And the ski resorts are actually, I was surprised to find out that they were really top-notch. Wow, that sounds, a, that's a great recommendation. Now you're making me want to go. I think Slovakia is great, too. It's an undiscovered gem in, in Europe, I think, uh, Slovakia. Yep. And the people are extremely welcoming, aren't they? It's a rather yes, re relaxed Very. place. and. There are no really big cities except Bratislava, which is on the extreme southern end near the Austrian border. So, yeah, it's very countrified place. A lot of old castles, a lot of uh, places to visit, small towns that are beautiful. The, the, I think the bigger cent, uh, city in the center is that Bainska Bystrica. Who? Bainska Bystrica, is that right? Am, am I remembering my Slovakian cities correctly? I'm not sure where was that. Maybe I'm... Bainska Bystrica. Okay. Ah, there you go. Good Lord, the language skills coming out. I don't think yeah, I don't think I could have pronounced that. Okay, certainly not after a drink or two, or maybe only after a drink or two. All right, that's all we have for this show, uh, talking about uh, Christmas places to visit. It's, I'll just say that one of my favorite places at this time of year would be anywhere in the uh, uh, Baltic states because they're so beautiful from Lithuania right the way through Latvia up to, t to Estonia. I, I, did, I love it. There. I did. I'll just give this last yeah. copy. I did visit once uh, uh, um, uh, Budapest mm -hmm. in the time between Christmas and oh, New yeah, Year's. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. And Budapest, yeah. I, I elected not to do any museums. I spent every day in a different spa. Yeah, that is a great <laughs> idea. I highly I'm recommend the Hotel that. Gellert Spa in Budapest. Can't yeah. be beat. Wow, that is such a good idea because they even have the spa island there. You know, it's amazing. And they have a great Christmas market, too. Yes. This time of year, if you wanted to go in, in, in December. But it's good the whole winter long. Budapest, also a great destination. Okay, thank you, everybody. That's all we got for this edition. Please like us on uh, YouTube. We also have a Facebook page, but YouTube is where all the, uh, the actual programs go. We've done 1,200 plus episodes over the last four years. Thank you very much for watching them. Please like them, share them, subscribe, uh, and uh, we'll see you on the next program. That's tomorrow night. Thanks for watching.